Will Cincinnati's streetcar result in more accidents downtown or even cost lives? The I team took a look at accidents involving light rail, such as the streetcars, in other cities. Investigative reporter Jason Law is live now with what Cincinnati may be able to expect when our streetcar begins running. Jason? Claude and Carol, for years, Houston and Portland, Oregon have had a streetcar system very similar to what we're getting here in Cincinnati in 2016. Despite never leaving the rails, people in those cities very often would just drive right into the streetcar. A lot of people got hurt, some even died. Just like Cincinnati, the people of Houston, Texas weren't sure they wanted a streetcar either. But after years of debate, the Metro Rail began running through downtown in 2004. Then the accidents, authorities say he was seriously hurt, began happening. When this Metro train rammed into the vehicle, one after the next. It hit us hard. It was a big impact. This SUV was riding alongside the train and they just turned into us. Walkers, joggers, cyclists, cars, even buses couldn't get out of the way of the Metro rail. The front windshield of the Metro light rail train was shattered. So were the nerves of the people on the train. In most cases, we found the accidents were not caused by the train. It was people running into the train. Pulled out in front of the train. People need to watch where they're driving. Houston's Metro Rail was involved in 187 accidents in its first four years. The worst year was the first, 2004. 62 accidents. Since then, three people have died. In Portland, Oregon, that number is much worse. 26 people have died since the MAX began running in 1986. We'll continue to do some public outreach to try to educate people about how to operate safely around a streetcar. Cincinnati Streetcar Project Manager Chris Eilerman says he has a plan to keep people safe. Eilerman says he's studied other light rail systems that run at street level. People know exactly where it's going to go because they can see the tracks in the street. Uh, it's not like a streetcar has the opportunity to, to quickly change lanes or to, to do anything like that because it's, it's tied to those rails. The Transportation Department says since 1995, more than 300 people have died in accidents involving light rails. Supporters of the streetcar here in Cincinnati, though, say unlike buses or other cars and trucks, drivers know exactly where the streetcar can and can't go. I do expect a lot of accidents. Engineer Michael Patton has been an outspoken critic of the streetcar project from the beginning. This is not going to work. Look, I mean, we're just too close to traffic. It's an amusement park ride for yuppies. That's former state representative Tom Brinkman's take. He's more pessimistic than Patton about the future safety of the streetcar. There's also pedestrians all over the place, and some will be hit, and some will die. And it's unfortunate. Critics say the sheer number of accidents in other street level light rail cities is staggering. As the passenger in this SUV is in critical condition. It's a number that critics say should raise red flags for anyone that could interact with the streetcar line. Most successful transit on a local level like this avoids traffic. It's either underground, like in New York and DC, or it's above ground, like in Chicago, the L. And that's the problem with this. And you're looking live at the construction site here on the corner of 15th and Race Streets downtown and over the Rhine. Now, streetcar officials say before the streetcar officially opens in September of 2016, they will perform test runs before it's open to the public. They really want people to get used to seeing it running through downtown before they put people on it. We're live downtown. Jason Law, 9 on your side.